Shalom, ladies and gentlemen. Today, as always, we'll be talking about a weekly Torah portion, but not as always. First of all, because we're reading two Torah portions, Vaikalp Kudei. Second of all, those two per Torah portions, com portions complete the second, second book of the Torah, Sefer Shmot. Again, we uh, review our collections uh, for the building of the uh, Mishkan, of the temporary dwelling uh, in the desert, and how we uh, erected it, how we built it, how Moshe Rabbeinu did it. But very puzzling is the completion of the book, where it says when the, when the Mishkan was already built, the cloud descended on the Mishkan, and nobody, including Mo Moses, couldn't approach the Mishkan. This is very upsetting because this was a Moses project. Don't forget that this was a project that was given to us as the first communal project. This was, it was a project that was given to us. It's kind of forgiveness for the sin of the golden cup because Moses had a great argument for uh, Kadosh Baruch Hu, why not to destroy, destroy the Jewish people because he gave us all the richness of Egypt and what, we want to sit with this like that? No, no, he told Hashem, give them a project where I can use all this richness, otherwise we will do the golden calf again. And we build a temple, and we contribute, and we build, and we create, and we erect the Moshe Rabbeinu did, and then out of nowhere, no, don't enter. But more puzzling is the beginning of the next chapter, or rather next book, Book of Vayikra, that God calls Moses to come to the temple, to come to the Mishkan. So why you need this pause? Why we need to change the book in order, in, in order to go? I think there is a very important lesson that we will co can, uh, can learn from this, uh, that uh, piercing all the areas of our life, from the uh, personal life, uh, family relationship, uh, business, everything, we need to wait. We need to have the patience. When we want, this is a human nature, uh, when we want something, when we desire something, we break all the rules, we uh, crush all the doors and all the obstacles, but the good things, comes to the people that know how to wait. This idea actually comes from the original creation. The reason why God gave us the Torah and commanded us to build the Mishkan, it's to recreate the situation, the entourage, that it was in the time of the creation when Adam and Chava were living in a uh, heavenly garden in Gan Eden. And uh, the problem was that Adam, could, Adam couldn't wait. He really wanted his wife, wife Sarah, his beloved wife Sarah, but he had to wait till Shabbos. This was the time to have an uh, intimacy with his wife. They couldn't wait until Shabbos and uh, took the fruit of the knowledge of the uh, of tree of knowledge of the good and evil. And according to some opinions, it was a grape, and they had to wait for Shabbos to create to make a kiddush on the wine. Uh, according to other opinions, it was a wheat, and they had to wait for Shabbos to make a chalas to bless on them on Shabbat but they couldn't wait. Whatever they desired, they want to take right away. This way we were banished from garden, heavenly garden. And this is what Moses knew. He knew his, the history very well. He knew that he has to wait. The good things, the calling will come. And this is why in the next Torah portion, God calls Moses because he knows to wait. And this is a great lesson for us. When we really desire something, wait, let it come to you. Let the blessings come to you. He will call you, she will call you, we will be called. The only thing we have to be very careful not to miss the opportunity when we receive the calling. Thank you very much. Good luck. I see you next week.